hey, I'm Best Iron B. And I want to start this video by saying I know I haven't posted in a long time. Uh, we just moved, then we got COVID, then I started making this video um, that includes the boys. And Kali here got sick and had a small surgery, so everything kind of got postponed a little bit. Also, there are some giant big things happening in the world and I try to, I usually try to keep this very light and stay out of politics and anything to do with um, just the outside world. Uh, this channel is just kind of my small bubble and whatever I'm doing, but I can't ignore what's happening and I will leave some resources both if you're local in Iceland and uh, if you're international how to help the people in Ukraine. I feel like there's not a lot I can do except for that right now. I'm gonna move on to the regularly scheduled programming but I just didn't want to come back and not say anything about what's going on. I have a very, very, very stupid video for you. I just want to kind of address it. Okay, let's move on and get stupid. Let's do it. Good morning. Today, I want to do something a little more crafty than usual. I can't believe it's been a year since I started my sewing journey on the Ash Wednesday Ashkutak's uh, costumes that are made for my bunnies and I want to make new costumes for my bunnies this year. One is going to be sewn, so completing, no, not completing, continuing my sewing journey, but the other one is going to be more crafty. This is essentially going to be a paper mache project. I, I want to try to keep it as light as possible as I will be putting this on top of the rabbits and can't be heavy, obviously. What you need for this project is a cardboard box, scissors, a measuring tape, a masking tape, a pen, hair dryer, flour, water, a bowl, good amount of newspapers, bunch of toilet paper rolls, some paint, and a whole lot of patience. I think it's quite cool that I've been sewing for just about a year now, and I'm actually just wearing clothes that I've made myself not, not the shirt, but just out and about wearing clothes that I've made. I don't want to craft in this, so I want to do something a little bit more cozy and nice. So let's do that now. All right. I feel like this is better or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I used one conventional way and one highly scientific and precise way to get colors measurements. The second way was to draw <laughs> his body onto this. So I'm gonna use this as kind of a template. You can see this is definitely a snail, <laughs> can't you? I figured I would just use this box to make the whole thing, but if not, I have loads more since we just moved. I also got all these toilet paper rolls. So that's good. I have no idea how to describe this. So I wanna try to make something structurally like this, or maybe simple to this bunny shelf that I found is gonna be in three parts. It's gonna be either side and then the middle part and something to connect those together. Let's measure it very scientifically. We're gonna measure it and yeah, checks out. Now we have two parts of the same size. Wait, this is probably too big. This top part is, it's too big. It's too high up. Let, let, let's think about it. A sturdy test passes. This will be this far away. It's a little bit too long on this side here. Clever. <laughs> this is some five minute craft type of thing. We have two rolls. I'm gonna do two rolls on the other side. This is where I'm at currently. We just put a rabbit in here, the butt, and it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna start tomorrow again, and it's gonna be 
daylight again. Daylight! Oh my god! How does she do it? And now that we're all zoomed out, I just made this thing here. This is the paste. Basically just flour and warm water. Not boiling, but not cold. As I understand it, this is what you do. You put this in the paste here. Uh, and you, where do I start? Here. Let's start here. Uh, this is gloopy. you're gonna do something like this just account for longer time than I am because this takes time it takes time to dry it's starting to get heavy which is not so good I did not want this to be heavy um, I'm not gonna strap this to the rabbit or anything I'm kind of just this is gonna be something I put on top of them and if they move away they will move away it's more of a photo up a kind of a deal i don't want to overwhelm them don't want to scare them this is just all for fun and games six hours later i've hit a wall with this um this is taking me hours and hours on end on this side we have exposure as i just use the scissors to cut corner off here i'm gonna try to make it asymmetrical now i'm gonna add just slightly something to this side here to hopefully get it into a cone here three hours later i thought most of my waiting would be for this to dry but i've been spending a lot of time just putting this together and i actually i actually think we got it to a place where everybody knows their name here we have the big reveal of here's the cone kind of a deal the next morning i didn't know if i had time to put another layer of paper mache on so i used masking tape and it looked just horrible i put on another layer of paper mache and fixed it up let it dry and then spray painted everything just shows you there are no shortcuts while everything was drying, I made Georg a yellow skirt. I found this yellow fabric while thrifting and I wanted to make him a basic skirt. It kind of might have ended up being too long as I think he was stepping on it. Uh, but it's basically just a basic yellow, very cutesy gathered skirt that looks absolutely adorable on him. Now it was time to paint. I had been thinking of making this snail look realistic, but then I thought again, and they're gonna be Spongebob and Gary. So the shell is gonna look more fun and more whimsical, which is the base color for Gary is what I'm putting on here. And it kind of looks like ketchup. And when it dried down, it kind of looked like Mr. Krabs. But once everything came together, I think it turned out a-okay. I think it turned out really, really stinking cute, actually. I think it's time to move on to the reveal. So let's get the bunnies in. That's it from this Öskedagur. Uh, the boys didn't like it as much as um, I did. I really enjoyed seeing them in costumes. I don't make them wear stuff for too long. I'm just kind of happy I could satisfy my costumey thinking and have them in costumes for even, even just a minute. <laughs> that made me happy, but obviously I want to make them feel comfortable. I think I made the dress a little bit too big. I saw it when Georg was wearing it, that he was actually stepping on it. Otherwise, I'm very happy with the outcome of both of these. I mean, they're not perfect, but they are mine. Uh, this definitely took way longer than I expected. 
maybe I didn't design it correctly to begin with either, uh, which kind of ended up for the, the hole here to be too small when I actually put the rabbits in it. It's also, to me, it was kind of a hit and miss with um, the texture of the flower water mixture. I would definitely go for a little bit thinner coating and that way it isn't lumpy and doesn't take as much time to dry in in my opinion i could be wrong though great big thanks to ultimate paper mache the the youtube channel i'll link it below as well if you're interested for me um i'm happy <laughs> thank you very much i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>